Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here again with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. All right. So we're going to talk about hydrogen water, which I guess the last uh, conference you went to was all the hype. It's been around for a while, but uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to get into that. If you guys want to know more about Dr. Nario, he's at Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. You can check him out there. So, um, hydrogen water, what is this stuff? Well, Steve, this is something that I, I saw during our conference that people are lining up for. So I definitely wanted to know what it is all about. And here's the thing, talk about fads. So it's always going to be related to what is the, the latest fad, for example, for water. In the past, alkaline water is the biggest fad that we have heard for like, I'm for me. And this is about like having a higher pH, of course, have, greater than seven. If you have, if you put this in your body, it's going to be uh, making sure that you're not going to be prone to cancer or any infections. Um, but now, hydrogen water is something new and has been enriched or infused with molecular hydrogen. So this is something that you're drinking, and molecular hydrogen is a colorless, odor, uh, odorless gas composed of two hydrogen atoms bonded together. The concept behind hydrogen water is that it provides a convenient way to consume molecular hydrogen, which has been studied for its potential health benefits. And hydrogen water is typically consumed like regular water. So you, again, when you, when you ask me that question, you can drink it all the time. Uh, there's no such thing as overdosing. And it can be found in, like, in bottled form or individuals may use certain devices to infuse regular water with molecular hydrogen. But it's a new thing and now science has came into come into the picture to prove more evidence that is something that is going to be useful for us okay so can you just buy hydrogen water at the store uh no <laughs> no okay right so that that leads me to my next question so how do we get this stuff i mean before we turned the camera on you were showing me a little generator or something yep. container and I guess that's the way that you convert water. Like my wife and I would take our filtered water and make it even better by what hydrogenating it. Yep. Um, how does that work? Where, where, what's the method? How do you get this? Well, Steve, there are several methods to turn water into hydrogen. And these methods involve infusing molecular hydrogen gas in water. That's the basic concept of everything. Just putting it out. One plus one equals two. And here are a few common ways that uh, the industry does this. So one are through water generators. And these generators are specifically designed to produce hydrogen water. And they come with a chamber where molecular hydrogen is in generated and infused in, in terms of the water going into. Process typically involves electrolysis. So that's why the generator is the one that's really important. Where water is splitting the hydrogen and oxygen gases that are inside. So H2O, right? They get split up by this generator. And the generated hydrogen is then dissolved into the water. So you can see that the main concept of these devices are the generators. It's not really the water or tubes where it passes through, but it's it's that uh, de uh, device that splits up H2O in your water. And the generators. Um, and when I meant when you mentioned about me owning one, so the one that I have here, this is the most common one out there. So this is the more portable one. This is actually a personal small generator that you can actually mm. use and they are basically what we call hydrogen bottles because they're on the go and you just put it like that and you press a button and it will now i guess uh, process that water that's in here through this specific generator and usually these items cost around two to three hundred dollars and again same concept you just bring that in wherever you go and activate that water but there are other ways in how you do it also one would be through tablets and pills hydrogen tablets uh, are in pow or powders are products that contain reactive chemicals that releases molecular hydrogen when added to water the users can drop a tablet or a spoonful of powder into a glass of water and the chemical reaction produces hydrogen bubbles in the water the thing here is of course it's almost like soda if you keep it for a long time and you don't drink it, it fizzles out. So that's why the generator is always there. You can turn it on, turn it off. If you can drink all of it, that's why it's a little handier when you have the generator rather than using the tablets. But I've used the tablets as well. And there are bigger ones that are used for research facilities like tanks 
but this one really is not something that uh, the public should know. But it's really more of the tablets, the powders, and the handy water bottles that I just showed you. Okay, so that little generator that you just showed me, um, you can take that and put it into a pitcher of water and then drink it, or mm -hmm. you know, you you could keep it for a while and. So you could get more, right? Right. Well, with you, let's say you're you're serving for a family. Now you get a pitcher, and the generator is bigger. So now you put okay. water there, and, and and I would suggest you gen you press that button uh, every time you use it, so that you can get um, hydrogen water that are that is fresh. It's not like you pressed it like thirty minutes ago and you're going to drink it. They fizzle out. So that's okay. why it becomes handy when you have it like there, the machine, and then gotcha. you know, just- So yeah, you yeah. wanna push the button and then you wanna drink it. Right, immediately, correct. Okay, that, that helps. So, big question, what is the benefit? Why should we drink hydrogen water? What's it gonna do for me? Mm -hmm. Well, Steve, uh, some reported benefits of hydrogen water would be number one, antioxidant properties. Molecular hydrogen is believed to have antioxidant uh, effects. It may help neutralize free radicals, and which are molecules that are with unpaired electrons that can contribute to oxidative stress in the body. So the H plus now binds to these loose electrons to neutralize them. Anti-inflammation. Chronic inflammation is always associated with health conditions. And reducing inflammation is a good goal to promote uh, that is promoted by hydrogen water. Uh, cardiovascular benefits, for example. Research has shown hydrogen water actually has positive effects in the markers of cardiovascular health, reducing oxidative stress and even sometimes improving cholesterol levels. Neuroprotection, the brain, where this is ongoing research in the potential neuroprotective effects. And studies right now, just animals have indicated the protective role um, of this with from like dementia, uh, MS, but again, it's still in the works. Uh, one that's actually beneficial for our audience is exercise recovery. Hydrogen water has been studied for its potential role in reducing exercise-induced oxidative stress and muscle fatigue. Some research suggests that it may aid in faster recovery after strenuous uh, physical activity and metabolic health. Primary studies have investigated that the effects of hydrogen water on metabolic health, including glucose and insulin sensitivity, uh, they produce good effects to these specific parameters. And again, research is ongoing. The field is evolving. That's why I keep an eye out for hydrogen water. All right. So th that, that's uh, very fascinating. Now, did you say to take drink the hydrogen water before or do you drink it after or do you drink it before and after an exercise workout? Either way, it was even found that you can while you're even exercising, you can take hydrogen water and it helps because we're creating a lot of oxidative stress or free radicals when we're exercising. We're breaking down muscle. We're, we're, we're retaining a lot of CO2 when we're, we're in, in, I guess, um, aerobic exercises. That's why it's something that can be helpful. But again, you think about the practicality of this because right now it's still a little pricey. Hopefully in the future, it can be a little bit more affor affordable for everyone. Okay, everyone, like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell to get notified when we do uh, more videos. And if you have questions, put them in the comment section. Or if you have learned anything about this, I'm really open-minded. Put those comments in the comment section. Dr. Nario is at Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Steve, thank you for having me again. As we all know, knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.